Hello Capricorn, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of January of 2020 spiritual advice reading. I've been guided to the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burston and to do a Celtic spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, whoa, we had a couple cards jump. For some of you, you may be dealing with someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Hermit jumping out as a major arcana and or spirit is saying it's a time to find comfort in a moment of pause so that you can reflect and put some time and effort in with the Three of Pentacles energies into something creative, into something financial, into career and finance and so on. Changes and the building up of some form of business or something of the material. Home, waiting to get back and work together with others was a message I heard. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Capricorn I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of January of 2020. What does this Capricorn need to know? All right. Wow. So again, with the three of wands energies, we have a Capricorn who has put a lot of time and effort into a situation that they are very passionate about. Could be career and finance, could be creativity. Uh, your ship is coming in and some of you will be realizing this uh, during the week of the 18th of January of 2021. Yes, in the thoughts position, there's almost a realization here that something came in very quickly and unexpectedly for this Capricorn, whichever Capricorn I'm reading for during this general reading. Oh my, in the foundation, we have a Capricorn who's coming to the realization of a new beginning. Could be regarding a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo. We've got the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands in the foundation. So this is a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands, where Spirit is saying this path will grow and prosper, having to do with home, family, business. Something is coming in quickly and unexpectedly if it hasn't already for this Capricorn. Yes. So it could be that during the first half of January of 2021, uh, this Sagittarius recognized that their wish is coming true with the major arcana, the star card. Their ship is coming in quickly and unexpectedly that is helping for them to step into the path of something they're very enthusiastic about or someone. Maybe there's a Capricorn who was connecting with someone who had Aquarius in their chart being represented by the major arcana, the star. Okay, so uh, from the 18th to around the 22nd of January of 2021, this Capricorn has the high priestess energy. So secrets and or a realization of something that was kept secret. Okay. For some Sagittarius, uh, sorry, Capricorns, mm, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius because it just jumped out of my mouth. Um, in the actions position, we have the five of, uh, four of cups, sorry, energy. So we have a Capricorn who's actually being guided to kind of observe. If you are fearing that something is being kept secret here, or if there actually is some form of secret here regarding a passionate connection and or a financial opportunity. Spirit is giving you the strength to wait and observe what is on offer during the second half or maybe even during the week of the 18th to the 22nd of January. Yeah, Spirit is giving you the strength, Capricorn, with the Palace of Coins energies to indeed move into the direction of a new business or the manifestation of a business. Uh, some are moving into a building, an organization, or a more financially abundant, secure, and stable environment. And they're kind of keeping the secret because they're looking at the offer and it almost feels too good to be true. In the hopes and fears position, we have the strength card as a major arcana. This could be someone who has Leo in their chart. 
So Capricorn, are you hoping or are you fearing a new beginning with someone who has Leo in their chart and or uh, are you fearing that you don't have the strength to move into the direction of what is on offer here? Have hope because spirit is saying we are being, bringing you the strength to step into a new path even when you are feeling like you are unsure during the second half of January of 2021. Because in the outcome position, uh, by the end of January of 2021, Capricorn, you've got the six of coins, which is beautiful. Someone is truly offering you some form of abundance or money. And you will have the strength to wait for a little more clarity here, but to eventually accept what spirit is trying to give you the strength to receive. Oh my goodness. So in a three card summary to my left for further clarification, we've got the 16th through around the 22nd of January of 2021, where justice as a major arcana has turned in the favor of this Capricorn and or there could be a situation that involves marriage or divorce, whereby uh, spirit is saying it is indeed time to step into a new path, a new direction a path involving money or things of the material that is set to grow and prosper. Yeah, there's some form of indecision here for this Capricorn, or this could be another Capricorn. Uh, a doorway is opening and you're kind of trying to decide which doorway should I go towards, into, and through? Should I or shouldn't I? Will I have enough financially with the Five of Coins energies? There may be a little bit of sadness and depression here. Uh, be careful if there is some form of secret here because the karmic wheel is showing up with the tower. So there is a shocking realization here that, you know, if you make good decisions, the wheel of fortune will turn in your favor. If you make bad decisions karmically, uh, it will go backward into energies of misfortune. Yeah, we have a passionate feminine here. Again, someone who may have fire in their chart, Sag Aries or Leo, or this is just a very passionate Capricorn who's thinking about a soulmate, who's thinking about a commitment, a partnership or contract that feels right. Some of you are giving birth to, with the major arcana, the emperor and the empress. Wow. The building of an empire here. Or coming together with another if you're single. This is indeed your counterpart, and you both can indeed give birth to a path of success. There's just a little bit of indecision here. Some may be waiting on clarification or confirm confirmation with the Page of Coins energies regarding money, but at some point I do feel like there will be a reason to celebrate. If this is about money, now, if this is a three-party situation and you're a Capricorn who wants to communicate with someone, um, be careful. Because we could have, uh, with the Knight of Swords energies and the Star card, someone who was dealing with an Aquarius and now in comes an unexpected, passionate Knight of Wands who sometimes comes, takes, and leaves just as quickly. So there may be indecision for this Capricorn between an, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and a fire sign, Sag Aries or Leo. Uh, again, I do feel like there's a Capricorn who's trying to get to the truth of a situation regarding a new direction in the area of money or things of the material. And there are some who are walking away from a connection that no longer serves them, male or female. Someone who has air in their chart could be Aquarius. So there's a manifestation of a new direction, feeling stuck or trapped. And if there is sneaky energy spirit saying, wait and do things the proverbial right way. For by the last week, the week of January 25th of 2021, uh, we do have someone here traveling into the direction of something at a distance or someone. It could also be, look at this, with two major arcanas here. There were so many major arcanas and are showing up here. This is a big, big deal here for whichever Capricorn this is. With the major arcana, the chariot, this is about surpassing difficulties 
in, in going into the direction of success, realizing that an old path, person, place, circumstance, circumstance or situation has gone full circle. And now you can indeed move into and through the portal of a new beginning, a new passionate beginning regarding a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo for some and for others, uh, a path where there is greater abundance in the area of money and career. So there's a little bit of indecision here with the Five of Swords energies. Uh, what action steps should I take regarding communication as I research something having to do with money? For some Capricorns, this is a passionate connection with the lovers. Could be someone who has Gemini in their chart that has gone a distance and now they're contemplating, should I continue to give to this passionate connection or should I move into a new direction? Some of you are moving into the direction of the Palace of Wands, a new home, a new business situation, and you're going to be celebrating great financial independence. Should I stay? Should I go? Spirit saying, have faith. Wait. Something needs to be brought to an end, of course, as you move into the direction of a new beginning. So um, financially, if an offer has shown up and a wish has come true here, but you're a little bit unsure, Spirit saying, we're giving you the strength to indeed move into a new direction whereby you're going to receive an offer of money and stability. Wow, money's been looking really good for the collective. Also, you know, what you are creating for yourself, something that you're good at, something that comes easily to you does not come easily to another or others. So it's important to share those talents and skills via the Internet because that's where the business is headed. Don't be afraid to share your gifts with the world. Embrace those around you is the spiritual advice for the second half of January of 2021. And the card says... This is a time, Capricorn, of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important for you to surround yourself with those who love you and who share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others, right? You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. For some of you in the second half of January, you've got the six of emotion. Memories may be filling your heart with many emotions. And it's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it truly was. People you used to know may return into your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue. Or you may need to reconnect with your inner child. For the angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to assert yourself with great self-confidence. Be willing to stand up for yourself to defend your position. For you have the right to excuse yourself from anyone who causes drama in your life. It is time for a wonderful new emotional experience. For some with someone new who makes your heart flutter or with a current relationship that is experiencing awakening because of a financial offer or opportunity. It could bring a couple back together because now you know where the money is coming from. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour readings and they are a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.